Hi friends, welcome to Password Academy. In this video, we are going to learn how to prove that work done is equal to change in kinetic energy. That is, work done equal to what? Equal to change in kinetic energy. As first, we need to consider the formula for work. Work equal to what? Equal to force times what? Distance. And what is the formula for kinetic energy? Then kinetic energy is what? Is equal to 1 over 2 m v square, right? And what was the formula for changing kinetic energy? That would, be, that would be 1 over 2 mv squared. That's our final below, our final kinetic energy minus 1 over 2 mv squared. U squared. Let's use u squared. And our what? Initial kinetic energy. This is, what, this is the formula that we want to what? That we want to derive. That is, we want to prove that work done equal to what? Changing kinetic energy. Then let's consider the formula for what? For work. Which is what? F times what? Times x. Work done equal to what? Force times distance. And according to Newton's second law of motion, we obtain the formula of what? Of force equal to mass times what? Acceleration. Right? And also, according to our, what, our equation of motion, the third formula there is what? Is v square equal to what? U square plus 2as. So we are going to make choose of these two formulas. We are going to make choose of what? Of force equal to mass times acceleration. And also the formula for what second uh, third law of equation of motion that's v square equal to u square plus 2 as these two formulas is one that we're going to use to what, to derive this change in kinetic energy then as first we are f w equal to f times what x then what is the simplest formula for what for force the simplest formula for force is what is mass times acceleration then we have w equal to what equal to m a times what our distance displacement this is our x right then according to this we need to make s the solid of the formula out of what out of this if you want to make s the solid of the formula we obtain this that is 2 a s right equal to v square minus what u square right after that you are going to what we are going to make you are going to divide both sides by what by 2 a divide between both sides by what by 2 a then this cancel this we obtain the formula of s equal to what v square minus u square divided by what 2 a can you see now, guys? Now we see that we have made the S of the, of the formula. So this shows that this one is what is speed, is displacement. Displacement is equal to what? Equal to final velocity square minus the initial velocity square, all divided by what? Two multiply by our acceleration. Then let's substitute this value inside what? W equal to m a times what? X. That is, let's represent this as our what? As our X. Because S is equal to this, and this is also equal to what? To X. Then we obtain this W equal to what? M a times what times v square minus u square all divided by what 2a hope you are following me guys then here let's simply eliminate our what, acceleration acceleration here cancel acceleration here then we have w equal to what m into bracket v square minus u square plus what plus 2 divided by 2 sorry hope you are following me guys after that let's open the bracket we have w equal to what m v square divided by 2 minus m u square divided by what 2 then we simply have w equal to what 1 over 2 m v square minus w equal to what uh, minus 1 over 2 m u square so we arrive at the what at the formula so this one is known as our what, final velocity our final kinetic energy and this one is known as what as initial kinetic energy so we can now see that the work done equal to what equal to changing kinetic energy of us of a moving body can you see it now that means the total work done is equal to what to the changes in kinetic energy and in kinetic energy hope you are following me now all right guys so just stay connect just stay connect because i'm going to draw another proof that shows that work done is what is equal to change the kinetic energy using calculus method okay so this one is just simple method we are going to we are make use of what of our a, our w equal to f times s then we make use of what of newton's second law of motion which says force equal to what mass times acceleration and after that we make use of what of v square equal to u square plus what plus 2 as so all right guys thanks for watching